guys, it's Ray, and welcome to my first actual create a sim video. This is my first video of me making the sims from scratch and not just doing a makeover video, so I'm really excited to share this with you all. I was actually supposed to post a dynasty episode today, but I filmed the dynasty episode and a royal family episode yesterday, and I was editing today, and I just like realized that the sound, like the track with my voice, it was just so, so quiet and I couldn't hear me at all and when I tried to turn up the volume I realized that the Sims voices and like all the in-game sound was so loud and I don't know how that happened I think somehow I adjusted my sound to be like that so I could not post it because if I turned the volume up you, you would have heard the Sims just like talking and screaming in your ear and I just did not want that for you guys so I did want to post a video so I ended up just deciding to do this the spur of a moment thing and I'm not doing a face cam because it's actually very very early in the morning or really late at night, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put makeup on. I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible, like hopefully in the morning. So I just think it'd be a lot easier to do this video without a face cam. It would just be a lot faster and easier to edit and just easier to process. So I figured we would do that. And I don't want you guys to get your hopes up because this does not mean that I'm starting a huge royal like wizard series that you guys had been talking about since the announcement for the pack came out because I just thought it would be cool to see what they would look like. Also, by the way, I just love that dress that you guys just saw, um, the one with the feathers, and I really wish I used it later, and I actually forget about it, so that kind of made me sad. But I don't think, like, I might do a mini Royal Wizard series, but I'm not sure yet. Um, this was a lot of fun to do and to create these sims. It kind of reminded me of, if you guys saw my Amira Get Swap video, my collab video with Simmer Erin, who, by the way, a lot of this custom content, she is, I got this from her because she did a custom content video, a lookbook with, like, wizards and witches themed, so I will link that in the description below so be sure to check out that video if you want to see where I got all of this custom content from. So I for for the video I did with Erin I had made over some for sims and each sim had like a specific color so I realize now that like this is kind of similar to that because I did want to make them like somewhat colorful colorful and each kind of have their own like color to them so you could see like each of the family members they each have their own colors which I'm sure you'll see in the thumbnail too um but I do think that this was still a lot of fun even if it was a little similar and it added just more to it because I got to play around just like a tiny bit more because they are technically witches um I put in the video that it's a royal wizard family just because that sounded better than a royal witch family <laughs> um so I don't know I I guess they could be wizards I guess they could be witches I definitely think this is the the queen right here this is actually Queen Lilith and she is a she's definitely to me more of a witch she uses darker magic so you guys will see kind of just like a huge difference between each family member and like the kind of magic they use you'll just be able to tell by the way they look but this is Queen Lilith and as you can see she uses dark magic and I just had a lot of fun I most of the video is like me playing around with the outfits for her because I was just trying to remember what I had and like what I could do. I was debating doing like an everyday outfit and like a formal outfit. I ended up just doing one outfit for everyone because it took long enough to do all of them. And it's actually two in the morning as I'm filming this right now. So I apologize if I just don't really have the energy right now. I like really love the way that these Sims turned out, but I feel like I could have done a lot more with them. Um, and I'm sure I would have if it wasn't two in the morning. So just know that if I did do a series with them, I would probably add just like a little bit more and make some adjustments but I thought these look pretty good and I love the dress that she has on right now I thought it was just like very her I thought that it worked perfectly with like the red theme that I was kind of going for with her and then the custom content eyes that you guys see I also got from Summer Erin's video so you guys can download that because it's just so cool the way they look so the queen king and the prince they actually all have the same I think the same custom content eyes that came in the same pack and then the prince she has different eyes that I think I already had but it just looked really really cool and I like never use these custom content eyes because they they do they look a little strange to me and they look a little supernatural and I didn't know what I would ever use them for 
before and I kept forgetting to delete them and then I was like oh I could just like use them for this so yeah so as you can see her aspiration is the the mischief one I forget what it's called um but she actually is evil she's a genius so she's an evil genius and she's actually very family oriented so she cares a lot about her family and being around them so she's still very caring even though she is evil I know that's like a little bit strange but I thought it would be very very different to have someone like that and just give her more of like an in-depth character instead of just like an evil witch I almost said it a vampire because she kind of reminded me like that a little bit but there is like a, just a little bit more to it she definitely looks more like a witch to me rather than a vampire and I actually end up playing around with like the skin tones and all of that too because I chose this and you guys will see too but I chose this like grayish sort of skin tone I thought it looked really really cool on her um, and I didn't think about that for like anything else before I don't know what people really use that as I don't know if people use it for vampires usually because it's not anything it doesn't look like anything that comes with the pack well I don't know maybe it doesn't say that that skin tone like comes with the pack but maybe it did come with like the vampires or maybe it just like came with an update or something like that um, and that hair too that is totally like witch hair to me I absolutely thought it was just amazing and perfect and it's so like edgy and like something you would not think for for a queen at all but I just thought it was so so cool and it looks really great on her and it just like I just needed that like thing that made her look more like a witch rather than just like a vampire um so I went and looked at the eyeliner and all that too and the jewelry that I found as well I just thought the jewelry was so so perfect for her so next I am working on the king and the king you will be able to see actually uses like light magic instead of like the dark magic so they're completely opposite which would be really cool to start a series with them and just kind of see like how their personalities and like how they're like completely opposite magic how they like complement each other but also if they would like work against each other so I would just be interested to develop that story so that would be kind of cool but the king's name I ended up going with King Galahad and I had such a a hard time finding outfits for him guys because like some of the stuff uh, some items I actually already had when I was looking at Aaron's video um, but some I did not and some were really really cool that I ended up downloading but they only really come in like black and like dark coats which makes sense because that's kind of what you would think of for especially like witches uh, but I just like I couldn't really find anything that I loved for him that was more of like like a light wizard sort of thing so they really don't have that much custom content in general for men so so you'll be you'll you're about to see I spend so much time looking for an out for, for him and as you can see too I did do this like I know it's really strange and weird but I wanted to add that like mystical kind of aspect for him too so I did those like that like I don't even know what they are but the stars makeup thing um, and they look really really cool and I put on top of that like this crescent moon sort of crown thing which I thought was really cool and I know it's a lot because the moon is like over the stars but I just thought it looked so cool I know I take it off right now but I end up putting it back on later um but it just looks so cool to me and I know it's very like a little bit strange but like it just it's so different and unique and I just loved it so so much I end up just putting the sash on him just to try to make him look a little bit more like a king and as you guys can see too so I did make their last name Glimmerbrook and the reason it's paused right now is because I was searching for a wizard name um but I made their last name Glimmerbrook which is the world that they add for the realm of magic so I am really really excited for that I figured I would my, I would name it that because like if I use this for a series like they're gonna have that last name anyway even though that's the name of the world that's like not the magical world I don't think I know what the magical world is called I think they do tell you but I totally forgot if I saw it or not um, but I just thought glimmer book was perfect it just reminds me of like a wizard name like because I was having trouble finding like a wizard surname but I feel like that was good so yeah his outfit to me like isn't too much like a wizard but I felt like it worked a little bit but this right here so this is their son and he was a lot of fun to play around with and I actually only ended up going with like teenagers for their kids because there really is not that many like witch or wizard custom content for kids or toddlers so I ended up going with teenagers because I figured I could like play 
play around and kind of make like a lot of opposites. So for their son, this is Prince Xenos and he is also using dark magic. So he's a lot more similar to his mother, but I made his colors. It's not really like his clothing or anything like that. It's more like his hair and stuff. Um, but, and like his eyes too, as you can see, that's one of the other custom content eyes that I had downloaded, but they are blue as you can see. And I just thought that was a lot of fun to play around with. When I was doing that collaboration video, I did have a sim that had more blue, but like I made like his outfit blue and everything and he was more of like a gloomy sim. But for him, for Xenos, it is more like, like he uses dark magic. And I know that's not a wid, like a witch's hat or a wizard's hat, um, but I thought it worked and it was also, it was also in the custom content video. So I think it actually works really, really well. I'm honestly not a huge fan of like the cartoonish kind of wizard hats. I don't think they are needed really. Um, so I just thought this one was perfect. It was like subtle enough and also just like went with the outfit and everything really well too. So I thought this was really, really perfect. So this is their son, Prince Senos, and he takes after his mother. So they're both, they ha their aspiration is both cheap of mischief. So I didn't realize that, but he is also hot headed and he is jealous. So he's not full out evil, but I don't know. He might be when he becomes an adult, he might take after his mother. So we'd have to see about that if that were to happen. Um, but this right here is their daughter and she uses the same kind of magic her father does. So she uses light magic and her name is Princess Celestina. So, or Celestina? Yeah, Celestina. Um, so it's kind of like just Celeste, but like, Tina at the end. So I obviously like couldn't really fit it in her first name, but like that's totally what I would name her with the mod that I have to make the names longer. So for her, I kind of picture of like using like like light magic, but maybe like celestial kind of magic too. So I thought that would just be really, really cool. She kind of reminded me like I, okay, so the dress, this dress is what I end up using for her, which made me realize that I didn't even like go further to search for other dresses because I had that dress with like the feathers that is so, so gorgeous. But honestly, it would probably have been better for a queen anyway. So if she ever were to become queen, that's probably what she would wear. But this was so perfect because the middle right there is like the crescent moon shape. And I made her earrings like the moon and the stars too, because I wanted it to match the whole like celestial theme sort of. But I guess she could have look, looked really good with like some blue instead of like the pink. But I thought the pink also looked really good on her too. I guess I could have changed it. I probably could have swapped it and made his colors more like pink and purple and hers more blue that actually would have been really cool. And I kind of wish I did that now, um, but I still think this looks really cool. And that dress is beautiful because I had downloaded this one a while ago, but I was kind of like, oh, this, I don't know. This seems like a little bit revealing. I did, I'm realizing now though, I think it's meant to be like a wizard's or witch's dress. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a little bit revealing for the royal family, but I think it is so perfect for like a witch, a princess, a princess witch, a witch princess. Um, but I just thought it looked really, really good on her. So I imagine that that her and her brother probably don't get along very well, but then I'm curious because I feel like her mother and father, they probably wouldn't get along very well either, or like you would think that they wouldn't, but I the, I don't know, I feel like it's working out. Like I feel like like the whole opposites attract things, so maybe they were attracted to each other, but maybe it's not gonna like last forever or something like that, but that would be really, really cool to play around with like a, as a storyline too. So I, I would be excited to do that. I think that there would definitely be some changes I would make and the video is about to end, but I'll go through some screenshots with you guys. So yeah, I think there was definitely probably some changes that I would make, but I was actually really happy with the way that these wizards slash witches turned out. I think I could have done a little bit better, but I, I don't know. I just think they look really cool. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm sure some of you are going to push me to do a royal witches series or royal wizard series and I'll think about it. I mean, this is all done without even the the Realm of Magic pack. The pack hasn't even come out yet. It doesn't come out for like another three weeks or so. Um, so I'm sure things would change once that pack comes out. So that would definitely be interesting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like their outfits and like, like their characters and background and everything. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.